Good morning everybody. Good morning and welcome back to the Peak District. We are back at Derwent Reservoir today, uh, where we were a couple of videos ago, where we walked around Derwent Reservoir, gave you a little bit of history about the place, and then walked up to Derwent Edge. Today we're actually going the opposite direction, so we're going up to the left of Derwent Reservoir, and we're hopefully going to come to a place called Alport Castles, which you'll see is a really beautiful place in the Peak District. Yeah, but don't be fooled by the name Castles, which we'll explain a bit later. And it is pretty close also to the site of the B29 crash site where we were also at um, a couple of videos ago. But this, this place is probably a little less visited than that just because of its remoteness. So, come out that gate just there, cross over here, and then we're heading up that way. Let's go. It's a bit heavy. Oh. <laughs> oh god, I think I need some arm back. <laughs> no. So we're just heading along the path now towards Alford Dale. Really easy to follow actually. So once you come out of the forest around Dillwyn Reservoir and you get to that crossroads, just head up where we showed you and then it's literally just a straight shot path all the way up to Alput Castles then. Quite a ways, I think that's why it's probably a little bit less visited because it isn't the easiest to get to. Yeah, there are no facilities nearby, you really have to put your steps yeah. in to get there. It's a there. little bit of a trek, but I think it's gonna be well worth it when we get there. So yeah, we'll catch up with you when we, when we arrive. Obviously, we're picking glitter off as well. Okay. We made it to our four castles! <laughs> this place is seriously impressive, guys. Look at this place. And we're now going to try and go and climb the tower, which is that big stack behind us that you can just see. It's rated as grade one uh, scramble. Some parts can be up to grade three, I think, that I've read, so... Yeah. So we're going to take it easy, but hopefully yeah. we'll get some really cool shots from right on the top of that thing.
Okay, you're probably wondering where the castles are, right? Don't worry, when we first heard about this place, we were fully expecting the remains of a castle too. However, Apple Castle is a half a mile long landslide feature, the largest landslide in the UK. Now, the name Castles comes, comes from the debris from the landslide, which has produced several gritstone mounds that tower over the valley and look like castles from a distance. Now, the largest of these, which we've scrambled up onto, is called a tower, and it resembles a full-scale Morton Bailey castle. The photos we saw actually beforehand didn't quite do it justice or show just how massive this landslide is. Now our internet research revealed that the exact cause of the landslide is still unclear, but there are three possible explanations. According to one theory, the shear below the gridstone is too weak to support the heavy gridstone and collapsed under the weight of it. Another one suggests that whilst the water can run through the gridstone, it can't through the shear rock. The trap water lubricated the rock and one layer basically slid over another and closed the slide. Now the last theory says that the glacier erosion during the ice age over steepened this, the side of the valley and once the glacier melted it caused the landslide. Oh. Okay, let's go. You shouldn't run. <laughs> I need some water. Okay, so we're just leaving our port castles. It was unbelievably beautiful up there. We managed to get to the top of the tower. It's a little bit tough going up one way. If you go up the front, it can be a bit of a steep ascent. Well, it's definitely a scramble. Definitely there, a but... scramble. But then we came down the, the back side of it and that's actually probably a little bit easier. So, you know, if you don't want to go for the, the very steep climb up the front, then you can always go around the back and go up that way. Well, now we're going back down towards the Snake Pass, down Alport Dale. We're going to cross over the Snake Pass. Yeah, and then we'll be heading back to the car. So we got back to that crossroads where we went to the right this morning and we come back from the left so we just need to go through the forest now. So yeah we just done a nice big circle after crossing the snake pass we came sort of along the valley next to the snake pass for a while crossed back over and then literally just headed up the, the bridle way all the way back to this crossroad so we're gonna head back down to the reservoir now I hope you enjoyed this video hope you were impressed by Alpert Castles it's definitely worth the trek if you if you're up for it and yeah we'll see you on the next video bye bye